Yeah, thanks for the, uh, joining me on the coffee break. Um, so today I wanted to discuss that materials management is actually mandatory. And uh, yeah, my name is Michael Bass, and enjoy. So first of all, uh, materials management, obviously, it's very important in a project. For example, if we have a project for $1 billion, this obviously in different phases. So first you do your engineering, right? You do your engineering, uh, you do a design, when you do a design, it's based on this p and ID, you do a 3D model and all this. And you all do the 3D model, you will have then the clash detection in it. So that's all the engineering world you are doing for the $1 billion project. And then there's the construction world. So the construction world basically is then converting the virtual engineering model, I call it virtual, into really a physical plant. So that's just what they need to do to build the plant and basically on time. So there's obviously all the labors and site preparation and all the installation going on uh, in this plant to build the plant. Um, so the main bottleneck they have at the construction site is obviously materials management. So we'll give you an example. So if I have a $1 billion project, engineering is typically, let, let's say, 10, 10%. It's perhaps $100 million costs here on the engineering side. When I go to the construction side, I mean, that's perhaps around 400 or 500 million on costs here. Right? Let's say 500 million. So the rest, as you might, might see, is all the material costs. So that's materials management, I mean, it's really uh, important because you will spend, in this example I have, 400 million in materials management. So you need to buy basically all the materials that's needed, that's defined in these drawings in the 3D model, buy them, and then basically ship them to the construction site. So you can start the, the installation. So as you can imagine that having the right material, the right time at construction is important. So what, what typically, what, is, what the EPCs are doing is, if you have designed items in the model, you, you make sure that you buy always enough. You just buy, they're actually just buying more than they really need. If they would buy to less, they would basically get shortages, you know? So if they have shortage, and you have the 2,000 workers waiting for the material coming in because it's short, you will have an impact suddenly on the schedule. If you just have enough material or more material as you really need it, this is called surplus, then there's no impact on the construction in terms of schedule. There's an opposite impact on costs because you bought more material than you needed, but at least the construction is on schedule. So typically, what EPCs are doing, they are buying more than it's really needed. And, and they do this perhaps with the estimate, the quantities they need, and kind of a deal. Materials management actually makes sure that you buy what you need. You always know what you need, and then you can do your best estimates. So for example, a normal surplus can be perhaps around 10% of surplus in the normal, normal way when you do the execution without really a, a, a robust materials management system. So it's 10%. So that's 10%, uh, that's 40 million, right? So of the 400 million of the material costs, they're spending 40 million on surplus just to make sure that they have always enough materials there. What materials management does is basically comparing always instantly how much do I have in the model, how much do I have bought, how much do I need tomorrow, and it's comparing this all the time. And then based on this that you know, oh, I need this now, I need this now, you are able to reduce your surplus perhaps to 5%, right? 
So what this means, when you're able to reduce the surplus to 5%, it, it, it actually reduce, you would have savings of 20 million for materials management in this project, 20 million. And this is the reasons why a lot of companies are introducing materials management solutions that are comparing the different qualities in different systems so they can achieve these savings. So I think when I take the number uh, compared to a billion dollar project, uh, 1%, how much is 1%? Uh, 10 million, right, I guess. So it's, you reduce basically compared to the overall, 2% of the total installation costs. I think that's very powerful. And this is the margin typically you will have in a project. So you, you will have your margin with materials management. That's the reason why I'm saying materials management these days it is mandatory uh, in these projects. Thanks, Michael Bass.